This local sports report is presented by the Tavistock Hop Company, a proud supporter of the Royals, supplying Ontario grown hops to the craft brewing industry since 2014. Look for beers using Tavistock Hops in your next craft beer purchase. Learn more at tavihops.ca. The Tavistock Royals flying out to a 2-0 series lead in the WOAA Championship Series. The Royals on the road for Game 3, looking to make it three in a row. The Ripley Wolves falling behind early in the series, looking to rally on home ice and claw back in the best of seven. The pair would face off in Game 3 on Saturday night in Ripley. First period, and it's a good start for the Royals here on the rush. This is Matt Zilke breaking into the zone and bearing the opener. A good shot from Zilke, that's his seventh of the playoffs, and it's 1-0 Royals. Later in the frame now, more Royals pressure. It's a loose puck on the power play. Devin Croft finds it. Jason Hamilton with the stop keeps it a one goal game. Ripley back the other way. Cody Britton fires a low shot on net. Jensen Van Bokel makes the stop but the Wolves stay with it. Ethan Skinner throws it on net and he's got a goal. That's a shorty for Skinner and that ties us at one each heading to the second. In the second now and here come the fireworks. Matt Zilke heading to the net collides with Jason Hamilton in the crease. Hamilton doesn't like it. He gets a piece of Zilke as the Wolves swarm and move Zilke out. Midway through the second now, Tavi back on the rush. Callan Christner spots out Devin Croft in the slot. Trevor Sauter smashes in the rebound. And Sauter restores the Tavi lead. Royals power play now, but look out for Ethan Skinner. He's alone on the break, and it's money from Skinner. That's his second shorty of the night, and we're knotted at 2-2. And in the third now, and how about more from Skinner? He sets up Chase Mears on the rush, and Chase bangs it in! And Ripley take their first lead of the night. Tavi right back the other way looking to answer. Matt Zilke plays it out front for Patrick Volgan, and Patty's got the equalizer, so it's 3-3. This one heating up in the third, and moments later, how about Chase Mears? He feeds Ethan Skinner, streaking in. Van Bokel makes the first stop, but Chase Mears cleans up the rebound. So it's 4-3 Ripley with eight minutes left on the clock. Only a minute later, however, and back come the Royals on the power play. Mike Noyes lets it fly for the point. Devin Croft tips it in. It's a scoring contest in the third, and we're all tied up at 4-4. Late in the third now, watch number 91 for the Wolves, Adam Alexander. He aims high from a sharp angle, and it's a bullet roof draw from Adam Alexander as the Wolves take the lead with two minutes left to play. And in the final minute of the game, it's Ethan Skinner completing the hat trick with an empty netter as the Ripley Wolves win the thriller in Ripley. They take game three by a final score of six to four, and they now trail the series two to one.